Hello. I, so I'm making this video because I thought that I was going to make one tomorrow, but uh, my attempt at doing the uh, lens stories didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. There was some sort of technical difficulty with the app, which is the only way that you can do the lens stories. You can't do it on the website. It's purely through the mobile app. Um, so I got those uh, three little videos up and I had about four or five more that I wanted to do, but after the next couple didn't upload and then when I tried to reload them, re-upload them, um, they crashed the app <laughs> several times because I tried a few times. So here I am now. Um, I'm sorry if I'm a little slow or, you know, my eyes are whatever. I'm having a really bad anxiety day. Um, for those of you that know me, uh, personally know that I have anxiety issues and I just got my medication refilled today. So, eh. uh, but it does make me really sluggish and I'm, I think I actually just described to my roommate that. I'm basically like a drunk toddler right now. And, um, and then I would announce that I was going to the kitchen to play with the stove. I didn't. I made a sandwich. But um, anyway, um, I had things that I wanted to talk about, but I was going to write something out tonight. But obviously, modern medicine is not allowing that to happen. So, you're getting me real and raw. This is about as real as I get right now. Um, so, I got this set up weird, but I'll try to show you where I'm at. So, you should probably be able to see this. I have... The flat colors down for Nakia and T'Challa. And that scene, if you've seen the film, I have actually not seen the film yet. But in the scene, um, those stairs are actually 3D. They extend back into that wall. Um, the scaled wall back here is actually framed up. There's more... Um, mahogany colored uh, framework back there. There's a ceiling that actually came down here like right across the top of Chadwick's head. Didn't really want that. I want the focus to be on them. So I eliminated a lot of that. I am going to, obviously you've seen my work, you know what I do. Um, there's going to be a lot more detail, a lot more shading and a lot more um, Shading, shadows, highlights, details, lovely patinas and wood grain and lights, camera action and all that good shit. Um, but it's going to be good. Um, so I did, I will pull these guys up here. But then you actually need to be down here. Okay, so all that has been, all the back, all the flat colors have been added in. Um, the next round is going to be accent flats, which is, you know, just more of, more flat colors without a lot of shading, even though I did do a little bit of work of Nik on Nikia's hair here. Um, but I just needed to be able to do just enough blend on that so that I can uh, differentiate the tones. It's going to be a lot more gradiated when I'm done and there's going to be a lot of highlights and it's going to be awesome. I know curly hair. I think it'll work out fine. Um, and then let me pop this up. And then we're back to the sketch. Now I do still have the color sketches. Um, and they 
definitely show up a lot nicer against the black, actually. Um, and they're still separated. The black sketches are all still on one layer. But the color sketches, they each have their own layer. Like, there's one for the figures. So one for the outlines of Nikia and T'Challa. Um, one separate layer just for her dress pattern one layer for the staircase so everything in green here and then one for the wall scales which was if i eliminate that there was only a very small section that was in blue and then when i changed it to black rather than drive myself insane trying to keep uh, even rows and um tediously adding in every single friggin scale I cloned them and kind of uh, rearranged them I would make clones and just stick them in wherever so if you see it like a scale and think wow that one looks just like that one over there yeah you're not wrong but I doubt anybody's gonna look that hard and like I said um, last week a lot of these are going to, well, not last week, but if you're on my personal Facebook, I did post um, just this, the black and white sketch. Um, a lot of the scale work is going to disappear because when I color it, I'm more going for a very soft shaded effect with that. So it's not going to be hard lines. The hard lines are going to stay with, you know, the lattice work on the stairs and the stairs themselves and, and all the little art deco elements in here um so that's pretty much it with that for now i will pop that back in so you can see it one more time and that yellow looks really bright i promise you it's not going to be by the time i get done it's going to be you know a lot more understated so let me pop this back over here so you can see me again. And I'm almost back to eight minutes, just like the last one, huh? Well, you know about that. So, um, there were other things that I was going to talk about um, in a poster video, and I'm honestly just not up to typing right now. My fingers are been drawing all day. Right hand's tired left hands worthless and yay modern medicine <laughs> just kind of made me completely derp but I feel a lot better um, I do have really bad anxiety issues and I also have a really bad case of acid reflux right now so that's why I scan sound a little scratchy I always sound a little scratchy but I'm extra scratchy today and uh, when the reflux gets up in here and it hurts pretty bad, um, it makes me really anxious. And uh, the last time that I had uh, a really bad reflux and a really bad anxiety attack at the same time, I had a meltdown. Hmm. Sorry. I had a meltdown so hard that I actually blacked out for a couple minutes and I don't remember what happened. Um, but um, I got better and um, I'm trying to avoid ever going through that again because that was really shitty. Um, so one quick thing I want to talk about. I do have a couple of very lenient commission clients that I do owe commissions to. Um, Emily, I believe that you're um, going to be able to see this. Um, I am still working on Joe Strummer for you because you've already paid me for it. So um, I have that setting aside and um, I do want to knock out McKee and T'Challa first, but as soon as I get done with them, that is next on the docket. And then I also have um, 
another little self, not a self portrait, but a portrait of a friend of mine um, who helped me out a couple months ago um, that I want to take care of. And then after that, um, I have, I have had this idea for a comic. And I don't know if you necessarily call it like a comic because it falls more into graphic novel territory. It is, it is a little bit more uh, highbrow, I guess, than your usual comic. It's not, um, it's not comical, it's not superhero-y, it's not noir. Um, it's actually something that I've been avoiding for many years in that it is very autobiographical. Um, and I had been wanting to tell the story of, and this is going to sound completely morbid, but trust me, it has a hopeful ending. But I wanted to tell the story of the day my husband died. Um, my husband CJ died July 23rd, 2007. And it was completely sudden. Uh, it was a motorcycle accident. He was a Harley Davidson technician and uh, was going to go um, hang out with our best friend and they were gonna go take their bikes out and just go for a cruise while I was at work one day. And I went to lunch, um, sitting at my little favorite little sushi place for lunch. And uh, our friend calls me and says, CJ's been in an accident. You need to get to the hospital. But he wouldn't tell me what the condition is. And I know I keep looking over here and the lens is over here, but just ignore me, I'm on, I'm on drugs. Um, but it was horrible. The day was long and I don't want to dwell on it too much right now. But um, a few years later, I, I had, I, you know, I, around the time that it happened, I had a few songs that I clung to because CJ played guitar and he liked to sing. And there were a couple of songs that he played in the couple of days before he died. Uh, one of them was uh, Blue October's Hate Me. Uh, another one was Pearl Jam's Black. Um, and there were a couple of others. And then there were a few songs that came out within the next, uh, within the next couple of months that really kind of resonated with my grief. Uh, one of them was uh, Leona Nace, a ballerina, which actually showed up on an episode of Weeds. Um, you can look that up. I'm, if I'm able, um, I will try to link, uh, link that in the description to try to make you all aware of what it is because it's a beautiful song and especially if I can find the scene from the show that it was in it, it give you a better understanding of why it affected me um another one was Linkin Park um leave out all the rest I was wanting to say shadow of the day so bad but no uh, leave out all the rest, which especially with Chester Bennington being gone now, that's just I'm not even getting into that. Um, so the, there was those two, but then it was a few years later that I found uh, Sarah Bareilles, and um, she has a lot of songs that I like. But there was one uh, called Once Upon Another Time that really spoke to me. And when I listened to it for the first time, I actually was singing little, this is gonna sound nuts if you're not 
in comics or in film or something like that that I started seeing uh, frames like like film frames or comic book panels depending on how you look at it of um, just little snapshots from that day from my perspective um, not like you know seeing me collapse onto the floor when I got the bad news which I'm seeing oh I wanted to do a story about that day with lyrics from that song and also have all the panels look like the experience of my day that particular day from my perspective like everything is shown through my eyes like I want to see my hands on the steering wheel I want to see um, my hands crippling paperwork or looking down at the floor at my shoes um, looking at my my friends who showed up at the hospital through the blur of the tears in my eyes things like that and and also um, kind of interjecting other scenes that were not from my point of view but from like a, a fly on the wall kind of view of the accident scene nothing gross nothing gory I certainly don't want to ever see pictures of that um, or anything like that but you know just like like a tire mark next to the yellow lines on the road or you know just like the handlebars of the bike tipped over things like that and I think I could really tell that story in visuals with the song lyrics without actually going into the long prose explanation of it so that's something I want to try to do in the near future but you know I do want to get these projects finished up first and um, yeah I'll um, I'll try to find the link for the Sarah Borelli song and also for the Leona Nace song uh, from Weeds I'm gonna try to find links for those two videos and if I do I will link them in the description and um, also I will try the um, lens stories again sometime in the future um, I don't know exactly when um, I want to try to work through Patre with Patreon um, on resolving the problem I've got an email from somebody in tech support earlier um, who is trying to help me out so hopefully we can get this uh, resolved soon so if you did see the, the stories sweet um, I'll try them again in the near future until then enjoy uh, watching Lupita and Chadwick become Nakia and T'Challa and I hope I get this done before I actually go see the movie. Probably not though. Bye.